In this video, I want to show you how to configure the kiosk mode in Windows 10. Before we begin, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates. The first step to do is to create a local user account with minimal privileges, so it will be a standard account. Click on the Start menu, click Settings, click on Accounts, choose Family and Other Users. Here you need to add someone else to this PC, so click on the plus. And to make it a local account, you need here to click on I don't have this person's sign-in information. Click on Add User without a Microsoft account. And here the username, name it as you want. For the sake of this video, I'm going to call it Kiosk M. Give it the password you want. Fill in the security questions. Of course, put the security questions that you want. Here for this video, I'm just filling anything. Click on Next. And here you see that the account was created. It's a local account. It's a standard user account. After creating the local account, we need to configure a setting in it, and this setting can be configured only if we log in to this account. This is important because if you have many users that will be using this Windows device, if you don't fix this setting, the kiosk mode will be always enabled, and whenever you turn on your PC, it will log in automatically. It will not give you the opportunity to log in with other users. So after this step, after creating the kiosk account, we need to log in to it. So I'm going to log out from the account I'm using now and log in using this account. Click on Start and Sign Out. When you have the sign in screen, of course, sign in with a new user that you just created. This is only once we need to do this. So the first time you sign in, it's like any other user, you need to make some configurations. I'm going to make them quickly here. So when you sign in with the user, go to the Start menu, click on Settings, click on Accounts, click on Sign In Options, and here you need to disable this option which is Use my sign-in info to automatically finish setting up my device after an update or restart. Turning off this setting will prevent the PC from going into a loop and it will allow other users that are permitted to log into this PC to keep on logging in. So that's all the configurations that we need to do. Let me log out from this mode now. And let's continue the configuration. So with the admin user of the device, let's log back in and continue the configuration. You need to reopen the settings. So click on Start, Settings, go back to Accounts, click on Family and Other Users, and now you can set up the kiosk mode. So click on Assigned Access, click on Get Started, Instead of putting a name here, go to Choose an Existing Account, click on it, and choose the local account that we just created. Click on Next. The Kiosk app will ask you to choose the one assigned application that will run for this account. To demonstrate this here, I'm going to go with Microsoft Edge. So, the user will not be able to launch any other application except for Microsoft Edge. He or she cannot also interact with the desktop directly. They can only use Microsoft Edge and with minimal privileges also as you're gonna see. So, click on Next after you choose the one application you want. And here I'm gonna choose Use it as a public browser. Click Next. You need to put the URL that will be launched automatically. I'm going to put my website. 
Here you have an option to restart Microsoft Edge after someone has not used it for a duration that you can specify. I'm going to leave it at five minutes. Click on next. And here this is important to note that when you're in kiosk mode, to log out you need to press Ctrl Alt Delete and this will take you to the login screen. Click on close. Now the kiosk mode is configured and Microsoft Edge will run when this user logs in. So let's test it. I'm going to sign out. Let's log in now with the kiosk account. Microsoft Edge will now open full screen with the designated URL that we put in the configuration, as you see. And Microsoft Edge will have limited settings. And you cannot go access the operating system. It's just Edge. The only option you have is to restart Edge with a fresh session. And another option is just to log out of the kiosk mode. Of course, you can also browse the internet, but as you saw, it opens in private mode and with limited settings. Also, when you're in kiosk mode, if you need to restart Edge, you just click on Add Session, click Yes. It will start a fresh instance of Microsoft Edge, always in full screen. And if you want to quit the kiosk mode, all you have to do is press Ctrl Alt Delete. And here, as you see, we quit the kiosk mode and we can log back in with other users. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.